Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the bakery. I'm your host, Barry Pies. And today we are live on this beautiful Tuesday with a strew, string of demos. I don't know how many we're going to get through. Um, but I got a couple. I got this. I downloaded a door, which is a Pokemon action, apparently like some kind of critter, critter collecting action RPG. Uh, the game's been out for a, a little bit, but it looks like the demo is still up, which is, I really like when they do that. Um, we were gonna check out this game called Mail Time, but apparently sometime between yesterday and today, they finally took the demo down, so I, like, literally missed the demo by a day. Which really sucks, because I actually really wanted to check out this Mail Time game, because I kind of want to pick it up. Uh, it would be a Saturday-Sunday casual game. It's a, uh... <laughs> mail delivery game, but it, it, it's a little, it's more complicated than that. You have to like climb and glide around and like, yeah, it's all kinds of cool shit. Anyway, today we're checking out first on the list, Bread and Fred. Apparently this is a co-op to single player um, platformer where you each control one of the penguins and you have to make it to the top of the list. So we're gonna go, uh, top of the mountain excuse me so it is buggy from what i understand there are some bugs it, the game just came out okay so left to throw x to swing left trigger for grabbing wait how is it the same button Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, <laughs> yay, I made it up on this one platform. <laughs> okay. Wait, what were my buttons again? I'm very confused. Fred, Fred, Greg? Oh, so, okay, I'm not, I can already say I'm not going to be good at this. Which sucks, because I kind of actually like these kind of games. I think they're, like, super cute. No! I finally made it up here! Oh... Ow. Uh, <laughs> how do I get up there? Can I throw it up there? Is it? Can I? I should not throw it up high enough. I am never getting off this place. I would, I can't play this. I can't buy this game. There's no way I could buy this. I would never. I would have to play this with a heat with another person. There's no way I could play this by myself. I would never make it up to the mountain. Ever. Ever. <laughs> I would never be able to do it. This is like that game with the dude in the barrel getting over it or whatever it was called. <laughs> I just couldn't be, I wouldn't be able to do it. Oh my god, we made it. Okay. <laughs> Baby step. Oh god, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm still sick. Bear with me. My throat is like killing me right now. Ah.
Okay. Uh, see, what I don't like is that I can't control the direction I throw it in. Like, I can't just throw it straight up. Yeah, I don't like that. I should be able to just throw it straight up, honestly. I did it! Huh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> uh. This is cute. I like this game. I just, I don't see myself playing this because I could see myself already getting frustrated. Like, one wrong throw, and I have to, like, start over from the bottom, and I, like, I can see myself, like, crying. <laughs> Out of frustration. Out of frustration. And I'm uh, sometimes being autistic when you're, uh, when things upset you. Fortunately, sometimes frustrating crying is all your body knows how to do. It's just, like, just let it out, Barry. Just cry, alright? Just get it out of your goddamn system. And, uh, Yo! <laughs> it like oh, ow. <laughs> it like swung me in there. Okay, I really like this game. I definitely like I might buy this from it. No! Oh you son of a bitch! Oh I guess to move faster I can just throw myself around. Throwing the rock does, like, hurl me through the air, too. Come on. Damn it. Come on. This is, this is definitely reminiscent of Ice Climbers. No! Oh, that was my fault. I overthrew that. Definitely. They, oh, you know what this game would benefit from? Some kind of, like, angle system that, like, shows you where you got... They wanted suggestions, and I'm gonna go... They wanted us to drop suggestions on them, and I'm gonna be like, yo. Aim. An aimer. Would be... And, like, maybe some kind of build-up bar for how much you've actually charged your throw, because that, like, determined doesn't really tell me how far I'm about to throw it. Maybe some kind of, like, how much power I've put behind my throw at the current mime would be, like, really helpful. How did I do it last time? I really don't remember how I got up here last time. Ah, I had to jump while I'm throwing it. It gives me an extra boost in my jump. Okay, I didn't think I could jump, throw and jump at the same time, but apparently you can. <sighs> okay. The physics game. Ain't no one ever called me a physicist. Oh, really? Okay, we're only gonna try this like a couple more times and then we're gonna move on to another game. As much as, as cute as this is, this might not be the game for me. <laughs> Climbing that rock, climbing that rope. Uh, 
Okay, if I jump with it, it pulls me up higher into the sky. Okay, got this, come on. No, oh, yeah, okay, my bad. Oops, almost fucked that up for myself. Ah, ha, 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 ah, ha, ha, no. <laughs> Jesus. I'm overthrowing now. Which is ridiculous because I've done this part like how many times already? <laughs> I know how far I need to throw it. Oh. Apparently I just bypassed that whole platform completely. Did it! Yes! Get over here. Okay. 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 That this I think we're gonna try to get up there one up there one more time because that's the furthest we've made it, and then we're gonna switch games. I don't think this game is for me. I like it. It's so cute and I do like it. If I had another human to play with, I would probably be more likely to play it. This definitely feels like a game I would have more fun with playing with a second player. But I'm not sure if any of the people that I, any of the people in my community would really play this, unfortunately. A lot of my players are into like role playing and like first person shooters, life sims, and retro games. I don't, maybe they'd like this. Yep, I totally turned the wrong direction and threw that in the wrong way. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and save and exit. Okay, so that was our first game up. That was Fred... ...and something. Fred and Fred. Fred and, Fred and Fred. Uh, I definitely... In what I experienced, give that a pretty decent, um, definitely a big old thumbs up. That game looks pretty great. Um, just give me one second. I'm trying to go to my library so I can uninstall it as we do it because I don't want to um, accidentally pop it back up and replay it again. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and check out Daydream, which is inspired by, um, Little Nightmares. There's another game coming out as well, inspired by Little Nightmares, and it's... That in, like, Germany or Russia? I want to say it's Germany. And it's, like, fucking creepy from the trailer that I've seen. I just can't remember the name of it right now. I'll be right back. I gotta warm up my coffee. It's cold? I don't understand how it's cold, but it's cold.
All right, guys. I'm gonna adjust the brightness right quick of my. There we go. I love how they're always like until it's barely visible, and I'm like, no, no, because I don't like the dark. I can't see shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. Daydream set prologue. Where's my phone? I gotta pull up my stream. I just realized I don't have it pulled up, so if anyone tries to talk to me, I ain't gonna fucking see it. I don't want anyone feeling like I'm ignoring them. Oh, so we're just starting off like that. Oh, uh, uh. Oh my god. No! Let's go! Mm. Mm. No, you stay out, Mr. Hand! Okay, so that's just how the game's gonna start us off. Okay. Here's a hand, now run! That was... that was a good start. I like it. Alright. Setting up my there. Now I can see my chats. Okay. The goat's head. The goat's head. Oh, he's going up the stairs. I'm guessing that means I need to go up there too. I'm painting sideways. It looks like trees. Lighthouse. Oh my god. I'm sorry you guys. I'm like barely woke up like before we started just streaming. I woke up late today. I kept hitting snooze because I was like i I've been sick the last couple days. I'm still not feeling good now. Okay. Oh. Kind of feels like we're in like an orphanage or something. Come here. Oops. Ah! <laughs> there we go. It would be kind of cool if this was like two players and someone could control the bear. <laughs> okay. I like the art style. I like how they did the art because it definitely separates it from being just another, uh, just a clone of Little Nightmares, you know? Shh. <laughs> 
did you just do? He put on a conductor hat. That's so cute. Hey, there's that lighthouse again in the background. Am I supposed to pick that up? Yep, there's a train in there. Aha! It didn't look like she was picking up the train tracks. I was very confused. Really? There we go. It snaps it on its own. That's really frustrating. Is he gonna light up my way? The train? It's exactly what he's gonna do. That was cute. Simple. I like this. The puzzles aren't super complicated. Every once in a while, Little Nightmares would have one that I'd be like, What the fuck? Like, what do you want me to do right now? I can command him to do stuff. That's really cool. That could be a problem though. I could see how this game mechanics could be an issue if there's time if I'm like trying to run from something and have to do stuff like this. Because commanding him to do stuff takes a minute. You have to LBA, you know what I mean? If I'm being chased, I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to stop and do those kind of commands oh um there was nobody there what the actual fuck <laughs> mm. sorry guys oh oh my god i am so swollen I just knocked down that painting. Hey. Oh. Barry, no. Doesn't like. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, down there. What more tea there? No more anymore. Hello, Tate. <sighs> Lead the way, Tate.
What? Did, what the fuck just happened? Did the steam kill me? Wait, like, it seriously killed me? The steam's killing me. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Wait, a, I don't understand. I don't, I really, I don't, I really don't understand. I'm very confused right now. I can't walk over that. What am I supposed to do? Are you kidding me? Um, I see. Uh-huh. Now suddenly I can climb up here? Okay. All right. I see. There's a steam valve up here. Clever. Okay. Oh. Don't fall. <laughs> Good to know. This is why we play demos, people, so we can test this shit. <laughs> well, what I do... Oh, no! <laughs> okay, what I was trying to say, what I do like about this game that um, Little Nightmares doesn't have is in this game, I don't have to hold the grab button to keep holding on to the wall. I can just let go of the grab button and I'll, uh, and I'll, um, keep holding it anyway. In Little Nightmares, if you're holding something, you have to hold the grab button because if you let it go, they let go. And it's, I can't tell you how, like, many times my fingers got sore from holding on to, like, the run button or the carrying button while I'm running from something. Oh my god. Oh, how much I've hated that. I love those games, though. Little Nightmares is definitely one of my favorite franchises. And I've heard that they're talking about a possible third. Second Little Nightmares was easily my favorite. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run! You stupid bear! No! Oh my god, you can fall off the edge! That's a little dumb. You can fall off the edge of that? That's like ridiculous precision running. No offense. no offense, creators, but that's a little obsessive. You, get over here. I'll pick you the fuck up. Get up there. Do your job. Oh, 
I guess there's nothing for you to do. Well, I take it back. No, no, don't, no, don't, don't you, don't you fucking stop climbing. I'm trying to grab. No, I can't. Every time I try to grab it, she climbs. Bitch, I swear to God, I don't need you to climb. See, I need you to grab box and pull. Okay. El Polo. I need you to pull the box. Not get up here. Just, I need you to grab the, no, 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 no. See, that's not what I need you to do, you dumb bitch. I need you to grab, no, no. Okay, cool. Awesome. I love this. I love this. I love that, like, two of the same buttons do the exact same two things, and I don't need them to do... I just need you to grab the fucking box. Like, this is ridiculous. Just grab the fucking box. No, like, seriously, this is, like, you're... I, I just need you to grab the box. Why do you keep climbing it? Stop fucking climbing the goddamn box. I need you to grab it and pull it so we can fucking climb, and she's not doing that. She keeps trying to fucking climb the box like a dumb bitch. And I'm getting really frustrated because there's nothing else I can do. She's just climbing. That's all she does. She just auto fucking auto climbs. I can't grab anything. I'm supposed to grab this and pull it. She's just going to keep fucking climbing it, you stupid cunt. I'm so irritated right now. Because I... Did this just move? It's shaking. Wait. Apparently, you push the legs out? Oh. They're like st handle? They're sta okay. Yo, this game is not exactly like, oh, hey, you can interact with this. That was really confusing. Because oh, there was a box there. My thought would have been grab the box, drag it to the platform. Jesus. Hey. I couldn't grab the goddamn box. I guess I should have been my first clue, though, when she wouldn't grab the box. That maybe you weren't supposed to grab the box, but, like, in my brain, there didn't seem to be any other option. All right, let's see. What do we have over here? So there seems to be some kind of vent here. over there. Pull that. Wait, hold on. No! I did it! That was cool. That was tricky. I, it was a little complicated there for me. This is really cool. 
Yeah, I'm gonna play this game when the final game comes out. I like this a lot. I mean, I'm a little frustrated with some of the mechanics at some of the points, like, already. But, like, whatever. I'm also just used to, like, puzzle games that, like, highlight things you can interact with in some kind. Like, they either make the items you can touch darker than the back or brighter than the background. Or, like, they highlight them in, like, a bold outline or something, and it... Oh, my God. Are we floating above the world? Is that a whale flying in the sky? What the fuck is going on in this goddamn game? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, I see. It locks him into place. I didn't notice it was a lock mechanism. That was really confusing. That was, like, really confusing, to be quite honest. <laughs> Will you jump? Okay, cool. I was like, I don't want to throw you across. This one I might have to. Climb. Oh, God. He's not strong enough to help me up, so he can't, like, grab me and pull me up or anything. Like in Little Nightmares 2. He's gotta be able to push that somehow, right? Yeah, and there's this weird video cassette... What am I being monitored? What if I'm being monitored? Oh my god. Now I'm all like creeped out. Come on. Alright, there has to be a way for me to get up there and grab that for him. Oh, I just have to push? I don't have to grab and push. I guess not. Yeah, see, how do I get that? Can I get, can I get up there? Oh, I don't think I can. Okay, so how am I supposed to get that?
Yeah, I'm very confused right now. Um, I can't get him to do anything. I don't... I, I can't grab it. It's too high. He can't grab it because for whatever reason, it won't let me tell him do it. He should be able to theoretically jump and grab that. Or I should be able to, and I can't. And I can't get up top of here with him. Yeah, I don't understand. This is really frustrating. I can't grab it. It's not... I'm not tall enough. And I can't... I can't do anything. I can't grab it. What am I supposed to do? There's nothing else around me. I don't understand. And it won't fucking let me command him to jump and grab the rope. Which knocks over that and drops the crate for me. Is it broken? I don't... Like, is the game glitch? I don't understand. I can't do anything. Like, I literally can't get up here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I was watching another streamer play this, and they got frustrated with this part, too. I was literally watching them yesterday because I wanted to try to play this game myself. And this is the... They got stuck here, too. It's going fine. It'd be going better if I could figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. I'm not tall enough to grab that. Oh, I can slide? Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, but I did it. Are you f fucking kidding me? Do you understand what I just did to get you up there, you ass? Get the fuck back up there, you useless animal. Are you fucking with me right now? Seriously? Your own game mechanics don't work? Y'all, what the fuck? Dude, this is ridiculous. Your game is clearly broken. I don't, I, I can't do anything different. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do, and honestly, seriously, I'm getting really fucking irritated, and there's no buffering. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. I'm watching my stream live. I think it might be you, man. This is ridiculous. It's not doing anything. Like, really? This is fucking irritating. The game's not like... <laughs> What the fuck, dude? You're supposed to go over and push the box. 
Are you kidding me right now? Jesus, it wasn't letting me highlight the box. It kept trying to get me to tell him to pull the string. And I'm like, I can't tell him to pull the string, you dumb bitch. Or I wouldn't be having this problem right now, would I? I figured it out. It's okay, it's just a demo. It's gonna be a little rocky, you know? And it's a prologue. Hopefully they'll fix out some of it. Let Oh, nope, all right. Oh my God, I kept trying to highlight the box so he would push it and it wouldn't let me. So then I kept trying to highlight the rope because I thought maybe he needed to pull the rope and I had to get up there somehow. And it just, we figured it out. Having a second thing to control definitely makes this game a little more difficult than Little Nightmares. But I'm like definitely here for whatever the shit that it's like, how is it little? It's like Little Nightmares inspired yet also bright and colorful at the same time. I'm guessing our goal is the lighthouse. Cause I need you to calm down, calm down, calm down, go. Boy, I need you to calm down, calm down. Oh, I can go underneath? I wonder how the demo's gonna end. So far, we've only been chased by, like, one scary thing. Hey, you, come here. I gotta throw you. Over there. <clears throat> Pull that. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I see. Come here. I need you up there. Eee. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I know what I need you to do. I need you to pull that. Send me back the other way. Yep. Because this is going to come over there with me. I didn't think it would send me back all the way. Because when we came in here, it wasn't over here all the way. Do it one more time. I like that his AI knows where to go and I don't have to be like carrying him everywhere for the most part unless he I have I'm sorry it broke on me how was that fair to okay that was on me this is the problem with these 3d platformers is it's hard to see like where you should be jumping Okay, so it wasn't supposed to break. Why did it break last time on me? You saw that, right? The last time I jumped on this, it completely snapped and killed me. Which means the game bugged out the last time I landed on this platform. It must have, like, the coding must have fucked up and it must have, like, snapped it completely. Because this time I landed on it and it didn't drop me like that. I 
I connected the trains. Was that just for like a little fun? Doesn't look like it did anything. All right. Well, cool. All right, come here. I gotta throw you over there. Now I see what I need you to do over here. Uh, uh. <sighs> Fountain. Uh oh, 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 no. Uh uh. Oh, sir. That's where it ends. Well, it was very abrupt and disappointing. Um, but we're absolutely getting this and playing the fuck out of this when it comes out. Um, yeah, I'm definitely down. I really, really liked that. Okay, so we that's the second demo down that we finished. Give me one second. I'm going to go remove it. When does it does it have when does it come out? Hold on, I'm curious. Uh store page. Let's see if there's a release date. That's not correct. The game should be out now, according to their release date. It's It was supposed to be out on the 3rd of this month. Oh, it's a boy. Oh, I thought it was a little red-haired girl. Apparently, you're playing a little red-haired boy. <laughs> I thought it looked like a little girl, but okay, cute. All right, yeah, I'm definitely, we're definitely going to play that when it comes out. Absolutely. I really liked that. That was fun. And in this one, you're going to be able to fight, unlike in Little Nightmares. Well, Little Nightmares 2, there was some fighting when you had the hammer. But that sucked. The fighting in that game was horrible. Give me one second. There's some new comments on this thing. Mind. All right, next game on our list for today's demos. Um, we're going to check out where is it? A door. Where did it? A door. So apparently, a door is a action RPG critter collector game. So it's like Pokemon, except you know the trainer can fight back. <laughs> This game is already out, if I'm not mistaken, and it's $17.99. But it's one of those companies that leaves their demo out available for everyone to play. And I want to check it out before I ever decide to pick it up or whatever. <laughs> but it's been on my radar for a while. In the beginning, Drachnar, god of creatures, used the divine essence to create the world of Gatterdrick. Ooh. However, Ixia, the demigod of the end, placed a curse on Gat Gatterdrick. I don't like that name. Gatordrick. Gatordrick? That's a stupid name. <laughs> He was able to directly face the god of creatures and bring Drachnar to his end. Jesus. That looks violent. With possession over the temple of Drachnar, he got his claws into the divine essence. $17.99. 
since then, Ixia has controlled the entire cycle from creation to end. He's like gathering energy in his like chest. All right, here I am. All right, so right bumper is to roll. That's all I can do right now. I am getting tack power of Juju vibes from the character's outfit and looks. And I'm, like, loving it. With a little bit of, like, the Avatar Last Airbender because of the blue tats. Mursa Beast. So is this like Forever Kingdom on the GameCube where you summon them and they come out and attack? Okay. Oh, they automatically perform their special attacks. Okay. I'm surprised I can't swing my staff or anything to break these pots. It's a little weird. Left trigger to summon all your creatures back. Okay. Okay, you know what? I actually kind of like this. It's definitely giving me Forever Kingdom vibes, which is this great uh, GameCube franchise that um, I think even had like a mini run of a TV show, if I'm not mistaken. Can roll through the pots and it'll break them. That would have been good to know. Okay, I really like this. The full game is only like $17. Like, really? I would pay $18. Or, no, it's 17 something. So uh, overall, 18. I would pay $18 for this so far. I'm really digging the music. To oh. <laughs> Ixir! I fountainly found you, Draknar. Draknar? It's been almost two decades looking for you. I knew you were inside that boy. Usabe, you were my son, born from my own wings. I knew I wasn't done with you completely. Now die once and for all. Wait, I... Ow. Savage. Bougie. Ratchet. Classic.
I like the art for these like scenes. Like animated parchment paintings or something. Yes, bestow upon me thy power. <sighs> In a place where maybe a little bit more common sense still exists. Drachna. <laughs> Uh, after 15 years trapped in your body, you finally heard me, child. Ixir hadn't killed you? Yes, it would have been better if I had died the first time, but, unfortunate, but for unfortunately, that spark of my flame fell on you. At the time, you were just a human pup, and here I am, condemned to a human body for the rest of eternity. All this time, don't feel like the great chosen one. Do you really want to prove yourself? Help me retrieve the divine essence Ixia stole so I could get out of this magnificent body. I say prove yourself a true ador uh, adorer, adorer of the god of creatures. Are you crazy? Sending me to my death? Fulfill your mission now, O oh great adorer, the chosen one, the guardian of Draknar, the one who touched the last spark of a god. Retrieve the divine essence so I can be resurrected. Sure. I'll just get the fuck on that. Who are you and how did you get here? Oh, my name is Luca. I think Draknar brought me here. Did you hit your head or something? Draknar, the god of creatures, is dead. Really? The bruise must have been big. Look, if you're not useful for your ref... Or, uh, for our refugee, you can take your little staff and look elsewhere. Otherwise, you need to show your worth. Collect a Gatadrac par particle. Okay, nothing here. All right. There we go. Left bumper. Got to be good. Get a drift forest. I wonder if the creatures evolve in this game, because it kind of seems like they don't. This seems like it's like their their form is their form. And if you want better ones, you gotta collect better ones. Which is fine. I just, you know me. I'm um I like things that evolve. It's kind of like a roguelite. I see. So I bet you that means the next time I come in here, the layout will be different. I didn't put that together. Remember, how do I get the particles? That's my problem. How do I do that? Because right now, I literally can't do anything until I get those particles. Which means I can't capture anything. Which means I can't complete my mission.
Oh! I don't remember how I said to get them. I'm not finding any of these things that I need. The Gatorac particles, I don't understand. It's not... Oh. I wonder if... really frustrating it's not telling me how to cat how to get the stuff that I need to capture the creatures he literally said collect gather dike strike particles and capture stuff okay how do I collect these particles and from where I feel like if you're gonna ask me to collect you know the main item that I need to you know for the game mechanic you should probably tell me where to collect it because Outside of the wandering ladybug and the wood, I haven't been asked to collect anything. So, I don't know if your particles are something rare that is barely ever dropped. And if that's the case, that's a really dumb mechanic because then at, how can I complete a mission if you're not going to give me the supplies that I need to complete this mission? I'm just, I'm thinking logically, that's all. Send him back here before he got attacked and killed. I got nothing. I literally didn't get a single particle. Which means I literally couldn't even do my mission. I don't understand. He didn't give me any instructions. Collect particles and catch monsters. Okay. Where do I collect these fucking things from? Like, <laughs> where do I get these fucking particles? Could you be a little more precise, please? I'm like really confused right now. And you've got no tutorials in here. You have, you don't have any way for, there's no journal, there's no nothing, there's nothing to check the game. What is up with games nowadays not giving you any fucking in-game stuff? Like, why is there no journal that's like, oh, this is how you do this, is that? 
Capture Gatorade particles. Okay, how? I just did a whole level and didn't find a single one of these fucking particles that you're telling me I need to find, which means I cannot complete my mission. I don't... I don't... What do you want me to do? I don't understand. Try this again. This is my last run through. No, oh, and if I don't find any particles, I'm not playing this game because nah, there's no tutorial. There's literally no tutorial. They haven't taught me how to collect any of the main pieces that you need for this game, which is the fucking particles to capture the goddamn creatures in this game. They didn't give me any. He didn't tell me how to collect them. I just did a whole run and didn't find a single one of these particles. What happened? I can't play a game if I don't know what I'm doing. It's just facts. There's no journal to make a reference to, to tell me how to do things. There's nothing. There's... Nothing. There's nothing to say... How to collect shit. This is dumb. Alright, so what's this? Is this... Ah! Here we go. This is a particle. Why? 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 Why didn't you just say that? Why? And where was that in the last map? I... Why didn't I find this? Okay. I don't understand. <laughs> Whatever. We finally found one. I don't know why there wasn't one in the last map, but uh, we got it. guys i wanted the, the ram instead i thought they were way cooler looking oh i'm not gonna lie i'm not crazy about the capture method because if you're surrounded by a bunch of bad guys or accidentally kill the one you're trying to catch you're like how does fur Do the particles respawn? They do not. Okay. So is this map going to provide me with another one? So that I can capture my second monster? We're going to do that, right? You're going to be nice to me? And give me another... Thank you. Thank you. Good, because that's the one I wanted right there. Yeah, I want that green one. No! You dumb shit. I'm gonna catch the one with the green on his back. That's the one I want. He's a projectile monster. If... I don't know if that's how it works when you summon him, because they only seem to do one move. Yes! Thank you! Beautiful. He is a projectile! Okay, 
Now that I understand what was going on, this isn't so bad. I don't understand why it didn't work the last minute. I'm going to check something real quick because I wonder, it might have been on me. I might, um, it looks like, okay, hold on. I'm going to check something. Oh, I see. There's different missions. I didn't realize that. I must have selected the first mission over again. All right, I get it now. I see. Not bad. Very good. Now that you've captured the basic information about those species, it's recorded in your beastary. Please go and meet Bellina. She will assist you in settling into your refugee more comfortably. Quality ingredients. She's probably going to teach me how to cook. You met Luca. My name is Bellina. Nice to meet you, Bellina. Welcome. With all this going on, it's great to have new people here. I don't... I don't know if Maina Maina feels that way. Uh, Maina feels the same way about me. These are hard times for adorers, you know. The Drachnar presence uh, seems to have faded for good. Sometimes it's hard not to feel isolated. I feel his presence. Look, Luca. If you feel something, hang on to it like your life depends on it. Well, now we have one more mouth to feed. In fact, more than one, since my specialty is take making dishes for the creatures. I'm sure your creatures will fall in love with my food. The secret, Luca, is in the quality of the ingredients. Bring me a small meat. Let me cook it for ya. Okay. So, meat. Let's do one more mission. Alright, let's see. So, eliminate all cursed creatures. Collect the meat. And there's a particle so we can capture ourselves another creature. We, I kind of want... Either one of those, I think I want one of those solid blue ones, the ones that ram into the enemy. Oh, it's one of those! Fuck you! One of, yeah, I see, I don't really want one of those. Do movement speed. They're not very. He's not very fast for a little guy. Fuck out of my face! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Ha ha ha! There we go. I didn't really want him, but whatever. Could be worse. I really like this game. This is really cute. It's very... Like, I don't know. It's a roguelite. And I kind of get, like, tack power of Juju vibes, but instead of, like different spells he gets summons instead ow fuck you bitch that was vicious that was vicious nice job guys moving on That's the one I want. One of those. I wouldn't have wasted catching one of those if I knew there was those were in this game. Le uh, level, excuse me. Oh, that's my creature. He got frozen. Oh, the boar thing he can freeze? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, man, was faster, bitch. <laughs> you imagine if they had headbutted each other and camped each other out? Oh my god, that would have sucked. <laughs>
Oh, cool. I can teleport between the rooms I've already been to. Knock them up as they come on down, bitch. All right. Quest completed. Ah, uh, something about the drivel that Dragnar is still alive. Velina is still helping me about Dragnar. Forget Dragnar, he's dead. But he was very incisive about this need to find the divine essence. I've already told you. Maybe there's a way to get his attention, if that's what you want so badly. A cursed legendary creature. A legendary creature? Want to face Ixior and scared of a legendary creature? The curse has caught a Luxar who lives in the forest. Luxars are one of the most beautiful legendary creatures. So It is so cool that they are being affected by this curse. And how will I manage to defeat him? To begin with, you'll need the help of some artifact. Go to his store and buy one. Okay. I think the one I did is the one that uh, increases in power depending on how many, if I have more than one uh, adorer on this, on this battlefield. Oh, I can put synergy on them? Ferocious. When the special ability is used on an enemy, healing orbs are created. Each orb heals the adorer. Yes! After finishing an attack, Mercer chases one, two, three more times. Increases chase speed by 20, 30, 50%. Too tireless. I like that. All right. Everybody has an essence. Defeat Luxor. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this. This will be a great little way to wrap up the day. 
see if we can't get ourselves into a uh, little mini boss. We'll handle our first boss. Oh, it looks like I can capture him. So we'll finish up this match and then wrap up the stream. I'm not feeling so hot. So I'm gonna go relax, hopefully feel better before tonight's stream. One, two, three, two, many There's no one for you to follow that up with. What were you doing, you dumb shit? There's another part of the map over this way. to stay in there and keep getting healing. I know it's not a lot, but it is definitely better than no healing. Okay, honestly, that ball that he can do right there, a little ridiculous. It's like almost an exact homing in attack.
Fuck! Got him. Holy shit. Okay, that was, that was, that was pretty hard. Okay. Cool. Mercer leveled up. Okay. Very dope. Very dope. There was another demo I wanted to check out with you guys today, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to get to it today. Oh, and I've completed the full mission anyway. <laughs> I, um... How do I remove curses? Oh, uh, how the games were great. I've been, I, we've swapped games like three times. I mean, today's a demo day. Um, this one's really fun. It's like an action game, but it's, uh, you catch creatures, like, and then I can, like, summon them and they come out and do stuff. Kind of like that game on the GameCube Forever Kingdom. I don't know how to get rid of the curse. couple more minutes we have time for one last demo since this one's now done kind of sad that a lot of these demos have been really short but it's cool all right let's go ahead and pop up one last one this one's not really a demo because i i own the game but i've been wanting to do a let's play or like i guess not let's play because you usually like play the full game when you do that but more of like uh Let's take a peek. It's supposed to, it's real. Everyone's this. Uh, this game is really popular right now. Um, it's called Uzi, and it's a platformer. All right, let's go ahead and uninstall. Okay. So one last game before we wrap this up, Uzi the Earth Adventure. Um, so this is for like fans of like Mario and Sonic. Been wanting to check it out. I got it last year while it was on sale. I think it's like 20 bucks and I got it on sale for like eight. We're having like a big old steam sale and I was like, fuck yes.
And then the other demo, the reason why we're doing this instead of the other one I wanted to do, the one I wanted to do is Tent Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. It's supposed to be inspired by Skyrim, and it takes place in the Arthurian world. And um, unfortunately, the demo is still downloading. I guess the demo lets you play a lot of the game, I guess, because I've been downloading the demo since the start of the stream. And my demos go pretty quickly. I mean, my downloads, excuse me. All right, we're going to capture this game in a different way. Okay, well, not like that. Jesus Christ. There we go. Cheese and crackers. All right. Uzi the Earth Adventure. Oh, no. Okay. Why aren't you registering that I have a controller? Oh, yes, when we play, um... Okay, hold on. The joystick isn't working. I don't think I'm comfortable playing a platformer without a controller. <laughs> Especially on a computer. Oh, no, it's literally, it's controller friendly, but it's not registering my controller. Yes, I can't wait for Thursday as well. We get to play some more Legends of Heroes. Trails in the Sky, the search for Joshua. Because that little bastard decided to leave us. I hate his stupid, pretty face. All right, well, I guess we're playing with the keyboard. So wish me luck. R.I.P. Barry. R.I.P. All right, hold on. I gotta put this in a different place. I can't. I'm not gonna be able to see the chat. I'm sorry. For a moment. Until it re-rotates itself. Come on. Bitch, turn yourself around. I've played this already? I don't remember playing this at all. Somewhere in a less known part of the universe. It's a routine delivery, just like many times before. I had to transfer a few packages to Obsidian Star Crystals to the Omega 66 planet. Nothing. Hold on. Is it just me or is it still playing music from that last game? Oh, I guess not. Nope, it's not. Okay. They just chose fantasy music, apparently. We'll finish it in like three or four months. I love your optimism. Yeah, the controller is not working. I don't, that's really dumb. Okay. So we have crash landed on an alien planet during our delivery as an alien.
I don't know how to. I don't. Uh, what's the button? What would you like me to use to uh, read this? Ah, control. Click stars to get points. Bye, bitch. All right. What does this say? Oh, these are Reese. These are checkpoints. Got it. Oh my god, I almost fell onto the spine. <laughs> okay, as somebody who's a big fan of platformers, like old school platformers, I like this. The art style kind of gives me, oops, like Rayman vibes. Oh, I didn't see the falling acorns. go we will finish it in like three or four <laughs> seriously you're so right no we'll probably I'll, honestly as the story goes on and more interesting things start happening we'll probably wind up scheduling that more than just one day a week because um i i wound up playing I wound up playing the last one more than just on Thursday because um, I wound up getting... Oh, you bastard. Those acorns in that particular area fall at random patterns. That wasn't cool. There wasn't any way to determine which order they were falling in because they just kind of fell all fucking willy-nilly. Yeah, see? There's no pattern to those acorns. What the fuck? I don't like that. That's irritating. Fucking tried to ram into me. Uh uh ho. Bye. <laughs> Bitch. I got four of the five stuff. Oh shit. Oh shit. That was almost real bad. Run book. I missed a star somewhere. It was probably in the area below me. All right. Where are we on? Episode two? Okay. Time is it? Okay, this is our last mission. And then uh, we got to wrap up my stream. But yeah, Lugnir. We'll probably wind up playing uh, Trails of Heroes. 
I never planned that to be a retro day stream. That game was always just supposed to be a series that I was just gonna play through whenever I felt like playing it. But, uh... Well, I don't know. It only took me, gameplay-wise, honestly, it only took me about a... just about a month to finish the first one. Like, if I had sat down with all my game time, it was, I, I basically beat it in a month. It just, I stopped playing it because I couldn't beat the final boss. But yes, if we we're playing all the games leading up to Trails of Cold Steel, it will still take us regardless a while to get there because of how many games there are. Oops, that was my fault. Well, I'm not a I'm not a completionist, so keep that in mind when we do get into the game. Okay, good. Oh, I could have timed that so much better. Okay, and... Let's get out of my fucking way. Ah, oh, you dick! All right, I need one more of the big stars. Oh no, I didn't know there was acorns there. Oh, that one was my bad. I got careless. I wonder if it saved. Oh, that was me again. I got penisy. It means cocky. But I call it penisy. I got penisy. Ah, uh, all right. The game order is weird. What? What game order is so weird? Sorry, I, uh... Ah! All right, one last, one more time. I can do this. Oh, 
Oops. Yep. There we go. My bad. Well, that's the finale. Nope, I'm missing one star. I'm gonna go try to get it. My bad. Oh, the Crossbell games don't get played in order? Okay, see, I didn't realize that. I'm glad that I didn't... Oh, my God. Okay. I'm glad I didn't pick it up when it was on sale because we're, like, nowhere near playing that. I got all five stars. Sick. Finally, I found the first part of my suit. I instantly regained my confidence. Does that mean I'm gonna have pants on now? I do. I have pants now. Okay, guys. All right, everybody. This was fun. I have got to go. I'm not feeling hot. Uh, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna head off, guys. Thank you for coming in and hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciated it. Um, so those were the demos we played today. Next demo we're gonna check out is that open world Avalon King Arthur game that plays like Skyrim. We'll check that out next time. Um, until then, thank you for tuning in, guys, and I will see you all hopefully tonight as long as I'm feeling better. All right. All right, Barry. Barry's out, guys.